Tony, now, first of all, tell us about yourself. You're at the Dana, a big centre, and you're now looking at renal cell carcinoma. But uh, what's your position there? What, what's your lab doing? Uh, you know, I'm a clinical uh, director of the um, uh, Lang Center for Genitourinary Oncologists, and I'm a genitourinary medical oncologist focusing uh, on kidney cancer. That's where my clinical and my uh, research work uh, goes. And I've been at Dana-Farber now for uh, some time and uh, Harvard Medical School, actually, too. Now, this is a big issue, improving treatments in renal cell carcinoma, especially disease that has progressed. What did you do in the Meteor study? So we know now for some time, for five years or more, that, um, that actually uh, treatment resistance with drug that we use, VEGF inhibitors, we call them, uh, do actually develop, and it's a really an unmet need, and we haven't had a drug approved for uh, four or five years now in kidney cancer. Uh, so um, one of the most interesting um, strategies is to target, um, uh, is, is to have a drugs that target the mechanism of VEGF resistance. So cabozantinib is one of these. It target the VEGF receptor still, but it target other uh, kinases such as MET and XL. And now there's a mounting evidence that MET and XL contribute to this mechanism of resistance to VEGF inhibitors. Right, now one of your options in progressing disease would have been Everolimus, wouldn't Correct. it? Correct. That's a, that's a standard second uh, line options um, based on a paper from 2009. The drug is approved was compared to placebo in patient that progressed after sunitinib and it showed a progression-free survival benefit. So now you've gone head-to-head -head with Everolimus with carbazantinib. What did you do, in fact? So we conducted a randomized phase three trial, end up being 658 patients, randomized to, the, to Everolimus, the standard, versus the experimental agent cabozantinib, the inhibitor of the VEGF receptor, MET, and XL. And be before that, we, have, we had evidence in a smaller study in a heavily pretreated kidney cancer that the drug works, resulted in responses. So we went against Everolimus, and uh, actually the primary endpoint of the study being progression free survival was met. Uh, cabozantinib resulted in a median progression free survival of 7.4 months compared to 3.8 months with Everolimus. So practically a doubling? Practically a doubling, 42% uh, decrease in the risk of uh, uh, death or progression. What about other endpoints then? We looked at response rate and it was four times more, five versus 21%. Uh, we look at uh, adverse event, especially in terms of treatment discontinuation due to adverse event, and it was around 9-10% in both arms. And um, we also conducted an interim analysis for overall survival. It's a bit early because we have only six months follow-up since the last patient was enrolled. And even with that, we found a 33% decrease in the risk of death. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do, hopefully early in 2016, is to see if we update the overall survival analysis and uh, hopefully uh, we'll reach that. So what should doctors be reading into this as an interim interpretation right now? Uh, you know, as doctors and patients, great day for kidney cancer yesterday. Um, this is another drug that in a phase C trial improves outcome. It doesn't improve outcomes in a statistically significant way only, but this is a clinically meaningful way by uh, doubling the progression-free survival almost. So look out for drug cabozantinib. Hopefully it will be um, in your hands soon to be used for patients with kidney cancer. And if licensed in this indication, what are your recommendations? Is this going to be practice changing? This will be practice changing. And what are your plans now, though? You've done progressing disease. Can this drug be used elsewhere? So we do have a small study against sunitinib that finished accrual that compare cabozantinib with sunitinib. It's a randomized phase two, so it's a smaller study. We're going to look at that. I think one of the important things in oncology we always do is when we find drugs with different classes that work, we try to combine them. So hopefully we'll be able to combine cabozantinib, perhaps with a checkpoint inhibitor as a frontline strategy. That's something we're thinking about seriously. Now, what is this telling us about renal cell carcinoma and how to treat it? So be, patients are living longer. Uh, we're not, um, I, I don't think we're 
having a lot of complete responses that are durable and curing disease, but patients are living longer, and we are finding agents now that slowing the pace of the disease. So could you summarize the clinical messages for doctors coming out of this new research? So cabozantinib is a drug that is a VEGF receptor inhibitor, but also target other uh, you know, receptors involved in VEGF resistance. Uh, the drug um, uh, doubled the progression-free survival and quadrupled the response rate versus everolimus. And the, o the interim and preliminary overall survival seem to be um, promising. The drug, uh, the, the overall side effects seem to be also manageable. Very interesting. Tony, thank you very much. Thank you, Peter.